couple weeks ago, I was at my mom's house and I told my mom, mom, dad looks so amazing with his awesome hair and also his white suit. And my mom looked at me and she's like, actually that wasn't a white suit. And I was like, wait, what? She's like, actually his suit was blue. And I was just like. Really? Yes. Then she said, my wedding dress, Pink. no, was oh. yellow. I'm like looking at this and I'm like, there's no way. How and is that? I know, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Their wedding anniversary is tomorrow. So I wanted to do something for them. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn this photo into a colored photo. I have to completely like repaint this basically. Bring this photo to life. I think it's gonna be a fun little project and I hope my parents will like it. I just wanna show you real quickly on how this is going to work. I'm just gonna pick an area on my dad's forehead here and you see these little uh, temperature, you can make it cold or warm and then you can mess with the tint here and here. You kind of just get that color you need for the skin tone. I'm just gonna try to do this really quick and just mess around. As you can see this, I'm just kind of drawing there. I think he's a little bit more tan. You think he's a little more tan? <laughs> yeah. Just a little disclaimer here, I am not a professional and this is my first time trying to manipulate a black and white photo. We're gonna do the before and after right here just to show you the difference. That's before, after. Since we already have his face skin tone kind of ready, let's do his hands real quick. Now it's time to get my mom's skin done. It looks kind of scary at first, but once you fill it all in, it looks a lot better. Yeah. My mom's probably freaking out watching this video, like, hurry up and fix my mouth. <laughs> Let's look at the before and after real quick. Before, after. Before, after. All right, our photo is coming alive. The next thing I wanna do is my dad's suit. Got our before here and our after there. A quick fun fact about my parents, if you don't already know, they have 11 kids and we grew up in a wonderful, loving household. And how many grandchildren do they have? I believe the number is around 31. I'm thinking the next step is going to be working on their eyes. Look at this, before, after. Oh, Look yeah. at all that color we're bringing to it. Yep. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is work on these flowers. Dude, this is gonna be a lot of detail stuff, but it's for my mom, so Aww. you gotta go all out, right? Yep. All right. <laughs> see how these these are so like grainy and I believe it's just a scanned photo that I got a while back from my mom so the quality isn't the greatest but we can fix a lot of this stuff all right you know I'm kind of looking at this guy's suit in the background like there's no way that suit was black and white so we got to make that thing make that thing pop so I'm gonna look at suits in the 70s to see what types of colors those should we go with that Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> no, that'll stand out way too much. We're not trying to make this guy take over the photo. <laughs> All right, 
right, well, this photo is pretty much done. I need to do a few more detail things, and then I think we're gonna be ready to go. See how much more life color brings into it? Jaira and I are gonna go get this picture developed and you're gonna be able to see what Jaira did, which is pretty amazing. I had no idea she was gonna do this. to the easy part. Let's get this photo developed, packed up, and then we can show my parents their wedding photo in color. How did you do this? 47 years, what is your secret? Are you talking to me? I'm, I'm talking to you, Mom. Oh, That's, I don't want to answer you know, the Mom, first. you're an icebreaker, okay? <laughs> How did you do this for 47 years? Um, because that's what our vows were, is that we would love each other through good times, bad times. We've had like 99.9% .9 good times, so that's pretty easy to do. Yeah. We made those vows, um, God honored them, and, and then we became Christians, and that just solidified those vows. Our values were very different then, and uh, and then we became Christians, and so our values actually flipped uh, about 180 degrees. But it's really been, believe it or not, Mike, it's been really quite easy. Your mom is um, everything I would want to have in a wife and as a friend, and uh, so really it's been quite easy. So, Mom. There may be a lot of young women out there that are not married. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice to them on what they should look for in a husband? If they're uh, Christian, young Christian women, I would recommend absolutely, number one, that he loves the Lord with all his heart. I would also recommend that they are very good friends, that you don't marry somebody based totally upon their um, charisma or or all of the things, oh, wow. or their, or their good things looks. that your dad has, of course, but but that you you check. I mean, their character is so important, and if they are um, if they love the Lord, that's the most important thing. Yeah. Well, Dad, do you have any advice to young men out there that aren't married? You do want to find a godly woman, and that is not easy. That's very hard to find. That it's hard to find a woman or any person who truly is. Uh, living for God and wants to do God's will in their life. But that makes all the difference in the world because that literally helps make every decision you ever come to, any problems you face. Um, it really kind of gives you um, the foundation to be able to do that correctly. Having someone that you can trust, can trust in, in all things. And after all, uh, that's going to be the mother of your children. Uh, if you go along that that road and so you want to make sure that uh, you have somebody who's trustworthy and that um, uh, you can uh, depend on. You know another thing that I was just thinking about when you're talking before you get into a relationship you write down your top priorities and what that man must be and prioritize everything so you might have 10 10 things number one he loves the lord number two might be that he wants uh, a family like mm -hmm. you want a family the worst thing you could do was think that when you get married to somebody that you're going to change them mm -hmm. so you want all those all those important things lining up before you marry him in other words you're in for a rude awakening all right well 
I think that's uh, pretty much it, except Jaira has one more thing to go get. Oh, right? yeah. All right. Okay, oh, wow. mm. be right back. All right. I hope it's candy. Well. Yeah, <laughs> and no, we're not pregnant. Oh. So don't. Don't. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I just, I just don't want you guys to think that. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's do another question, Mom. Oh. Some people might think you're crazy for having so mm. many kids. What do you what do you have to say? Is the twitch an indicator? <laughs> um, well, you know, I I could tell you that I have never ever met anyone who said, "I wish we hadn't had so many kids." Mm. You know, but I have met people who have said, "I wish we'd had more." Mm. And so I I don't know. I think it's yeah. There's there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, tough times. Uh, stressful days yeah but in the long run it's so worth it yeah it's so worth it i've actually looked at like pictures on our wall and just all five of our kids on the wall you hear people um talk about we should only have this many kids mm -hmm. and then i imagine taking off those three pictures off the oh. wall and i'm just like what would my life be without my three boys god says children are a blessing and i wouldn't trade them for anything Absolutely. Oh, maybe, maybe this one. But she, she was my firstborn. Now. Yeah. For the guys out there, this this might cross your mind, and it certainly is important uh, when it comes to a large family. And you're thinking about, wow, how are you going to afford them, and how are you going to be able to make that happen? You know, when Ann and I first got together, getting a college education was really key. You know, to the future. That's what everybody was taught, and. Frankly, my interest was was to be done with school. I went to junior college, met Ann there. But really, I didn't want to go to school. I wanted to work, and I wanted to work, and I wanted to be a dad. I did not finish college. And, you know, I just trusted the Lord for what was going to be happening, and the Lord has blessed us incredibly well. People are saying, how can you afford to have those kids? You know, the Lord always, always provided, and we lived a very, very good lifestyle. All the things that, uh, from a worldly standpoint, you might think you need. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, uh, you know, when you trust in the Lord, if, if you have a Bible, you might want to look at Matthew 6. And as you read through Matthew 6, it talks about the basics of the world, where to trust the Lord. And we always did trust the Lord. And I think part of that has to do with... Um, the fact that we just put our faith totally in him and not ourselves when it would be able to handle all those kids. Being married to Anne made it very easy to be a dad because um, she was always very supportive of me, another thing to look for uh, in a wife, and I tried to always be very supportive to her. Try not to ever argue in front of the, in front of the kids. And now uh, the one thing that I'd leave you with, guys, with your wife, show your kids that you love your wife. If they see that you love your wife and how to love your wife each and every day, that'll have a significant impact on them. So 47 years, you might say that's a lot of years. Hasn't been enough years. I'm ready to go another 47. There is no way that I, I could have ended up with, with a better woman than Ann. I got right. a grandkid. <laughs> oh, and, and, oh, yes. Hi, right, Jara. Hi. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. What is this? Is this the uh, YouTube award? This is not the YouTube award. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Hold on before you flip it. Okay. Remember that time when I was at your house when I saw your wedding photo? And I told, I said, Dad's white suit looked amazing on him. Yeah. And you told me that that is not a white suit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh my. Oh. Wow. My. Wow. Does it look wow. The same? Hey, you it did does. pretty good. That's the color too. That, that is the... so cool. Wow. We had a baby blue tux and a yellow dress. That All is right. awesome. I don't know if I got the flowers right. Everything yes, you was. Did. You All did. You right. did. You are pretty good at this. Well, yeah. so this was the photo here. Oh, yes. That's the, yeah. the photo. So this is what yeah. we had to work with here. Yeah. That's and the result. That is that's really the cool. <laughs> Yeah, that is saying. really nice. Thank you so You're much. Jaira <laughs> took on her own little project. Oh, right. my. 
Oh my. Um, oh. As I was doing this, you know Jaira and her creativity. She right? is awesome. Yes. So this was this was Jaira's idea. Okay. Wow. Awesome. Oh. Wait. Oh yeah. Yeah. That nice. is great. Well, Oh, like this? The oh, light looks better. Oh, okay. That is really cool. That's that pretty is, thank awesome. Thank you, Jaya. Yeah. to show that. Oh. Uh, that is really I look, cool. I look much better in yours yeah. than I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Very oh, nice. Thank you, Jaya. My word. I can't drive that good. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome, that Mother. really nice. You're welcome. All right, you guys. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, March 24th is a day, you know, it's a happy day because my parents... Um, it's their wedding anniversary, but it's also a sad day because Savannah's mom actually passed away on March 24th in a tragic accident. And if you guys haven't heard Savannah talk about that story, um, I totally recommend you guys go check that out because um, Savannah is just uh, an amazing woman and this is just part of her story.